big political faces who have either conceded defeat or have been trailing and have lost in their constituencies. BJP's Union Minister Smriti Irani lost in Uttar Pradesh's Amethi constituency. Congress candidate Kishori Lal Sharma defeated Irani by over 1.67 lakh votes. In the 2019 Lok Sabha election, Smriti Irani secured victory in Amethi, which is considered a bastion of the Gandhi family, by defeating Rahul Gandhi, who held the seat for 15 years. Then BJP MP Minka Gandhi lost from Uttar Pradesh Sultanpur. Samajwadi Party's Rambhual Nishad defeated her by over 43,000 votes. Since independence, no single party has dominated this parliamentary seat, with Congress winning the constituency eight times, while BSP and BJP won it twice and four times, respectively. BJP Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar lost to Congress leader Shashi Tharoor in Kerala's Thiruvananthapuram Lok Sabha constituency. Tharoor defeated Rajiv Chandrasekhar by over 16,000 votes, conceding his defeat. The BJP leader remarked that it was disappointing. Though the BJP fought a very strong battle in the state, Tharoor has won three straight terms from this seat earlier. National Conference Vice President Omar Abdullah conceded defeat from the Baramulla Lok Sabha seat after he was trailing by over 1.25 lakh votes to jailed former MLA Sheikh Abdul Rashid. In a post on social media, he said, and I'm going to quote him here, I think it's time to accept the inevitable. Congratulations to Engineer Rashid for his victory in North Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir's former Chief Minister Mufti Mehbooba Mufti has also, also conceded defeat from the Anantanag Rajori Lok Sabha seat as National Conference leader Mia Altaf is leading from the seat, was leading from the seat over 2.29 lakh votes, a massive, massive lead. Taking to social media, she wrote, respecting the verdict of the people, I thank my PDP workers and leaders for their hard work and support despite all the odds. Come <laughs> on.